program is a Peace Corps Madagascar initiative that aims to reduce malaria morbidity and mortality in communities all over Madagascar by motivating community members to sleep under long-lasting insecticide-treated nets every night. Mosquito nets form a protective barrier around people sleeping under them. Mosquito nets treated with an insecticide are even more protective. The insecticides that are used for treating mosquito nets not only kill mosquitoes, but also repels them, reducing the number of mosquitoes that enter the house and attempt to feed on people inside. If high community coverage is achieved, in other words, if lots of people use mosquito nets every night, then the number of mosquitoes and their lifespan is reduced. When this happens, all members of the community are protected regardless of whether or not they are sleeping under a net. Consistent use of mosquito nets can reduce malaria transmission by up to 90% and avert as much as 44% of all cause mortality among children under 5 years old. Use of mosquito nets among pregnant women is associated with a lower prevalence rate of malaria infections, fewer premature births, and significant reductions in all-cause maternal anemia. Mosquito nets function as a highly efficient, fast-acting human bited insecticidal trap that protects humans and kills mosquitoes. One of the largest long-lasting insecticide-treated net distributions in the history of Madagascar is going on right now. PMI and the Global Fund are distributing 11 million nets in 92 out of the 112 districts in Madagascar. With your help and the help of our community members, the bed net surveillance program will track mosquito net usage. GIS-based technologies such as OpenStreetMap help us focus on behavior change communication, especially in those communities in which we find low rates of bed net usage. OSM is a collaborative project to create free and open maps of the world that anyone can edit and use. The result is a living map of the world made by the citizens of Earth on a level of detail that is unparalleled in human history. The first step of our program is to create a base layer map of participating communities for the use of OpenStreetMap. And this is where we need your help. The base layer map is crucial for our program. We won't be able to create these base layer maps without your help. Luckily for us, there's an OSM tutorial put together by MapGive, a U.S. State Department initiative. It shows us step-by-step step how to begin mapping using OpenStreetMap. Mapping is easy. It's simple. You can watch TV and map. You can Facebook and map. You can even throw a mappy hour party, which is like a happy hour, but with mapping. <laughs> the really cool part of this whole program is that we'll be creating map data that was non-existent before. That map data will be available for anyone to use long after this program is over. The maps we create will allow communities to repair, develop, and respond to needs at the local level. For example, national parks can track deforestation or the presence of invasive species. Health authorities can monitor disease outbreaks or local clinics can plan vaccine campaigns. These maps can even be used for natural disaster relief and response. The possibilities are endless. Alright, so once and only once we have the base layer map, community volunteers can conduct house-to-house -house geocoded baseline surveys to determine who regularly sleeps under a mosquito net and who doesn't. And this is where the fun really begins for us. With the help of community leaders, we'll organize sensitization events and BCC activities to encourage people who don't regularly sleep under a mosquito net to do so. So what do you say? Will you help us? You can click the following link to see what areas we need to help mapping. 